The Lord said the years, the year that the locust and the candle world have stolen from you. God said, I am going to double them back. I'm going to bring you, no, 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 to your understanding. But I'm going to bring your joy back. I'm going to bring your peace of mind back. You've been so discouraged that you're completely angry with God. But it's your definite portion not allow it to happen. I am the Lord going to tell you what. Because of your disfocus, that every Christian and he has a mentor of faith. And those things went bad. But I am the Lord going to tell you tonight. Because you were turned back to that place of the Bible falls of the hill. That the enemy stolen up. I will force you to understand and I will force you to be aware of what was moved out of place and not that it was seen where everything that was out of place will now come back into place. Just separate from some people for a while. And because of the separation, they decide that they want to create and wreak havoc in your life. Because they feel as if you ain't got the power to move on or to release them or to let them go. But God's gonna tell you this is the season. This ain't gonna be no fight. The only fight that's gonna be is a death fight. Because some people go back like and take out just so you can live. I'm trying to force your life to become a man. But to even like I can move them in death just to bring the victory to your life. Will you deliver the lack of the abundance? Because I hear the Holy Ghost say, You've been suffering for many years. You've been through many changes towards the fear. But God, I still got you standing up. I'm going to guide it, Lord, my God. If it hasn't been for the Lord, who's the Holy Ghost side? This is a 
to struggle to, and to bring some faith into alignment with the faith that's necessary. Oh, and for everything that you lost and everything that you have a dream for, God, that this level of disturbance come to bring what you never even have. The Lord gave me this this morning. I came in the house this morning. I looked over the people, and I see with a bunch of open doors. I said, "Come on, this door." He said, "These are doors of opportunities, wow. doors of promotion, doors of increase." Yeah. And I looked over the stuff tonight. Can I just say to somebody tonight that the doors of increase and doors of opportunity is lying over your life, but God said you cannot effectively embark upon it until you totally release yourself from what you're tied to now. Wow. Okay? The Bible speaks about Lord wife. Am I right? God says she desired, she desired the blessing ahead, but she was not willing to let go of the thing with the Bible. And God said, you cannot have the truth. If you go to the city, you cannot be embarked upon the plan and the, and the promises of God with God. You have to totally let go. The problem with the church is we are not totally ready to totally let go. And God said, when you are ready to totally let go of the thing of the past, I will bring you into the thing of the present and the, of the thing that's new. That's why I said in the book of God, God, in the book of Kings, and, and, and I, Isaiah, somewhere said, he said, behold now, I do a new thing, and it shall spring forth. Yes, sir. It shall spring forth. No, no, no. He said, what, I, what I'm going to do in your life, it ain't just going to go through a long process. This thing is just going to pass out. Say it is sudden. It is sudden. He said, behold, at that time, what is it? What is that? God moving with the timing. Yeah. What the church? He said, and, 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 and at that time, yes. it shall. We only got this. Look at the book using I'm going to end. Go to Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Come on again. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, I'm done off, the, I'm done off my, 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 my text tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So much is good. So. Glory to God. What's it? You got it? Who got it? Read it. Who ever got it? Just read it. I want to show something here. Behold, I will do a new thing. <laughs> And behold, at that time, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Now, I'm not like, oh God, I just church. Oh, Jesus. I even church without an expectation of God. Jesus. See, the reason why I can shout and pray and carry on by is because this word now is now meeting my expectation of what I'm expecting God to do. God is only speaking the language of my expectation. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Since he said, and behold, at that time, what time is it? Now. Okay, you ain't got that right. Behold, at the time, I will do a new thing. And what else? Shall you not know it? No, no, just go right back, just a little bit. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Now it shall spring forth. Yes. Behold, at the time, I'll do a new thing. And now. Yes. Is it since you understand what time it is, now it will spring forth. Yes. Then he's asking you a question. Do you not know it? I know it. Then what is he going to ask? I will even make a way in the wilderness uh -huh. and rivers in the desert. Okay, read it back again. Let the church hear what you got to say. Behold, I will do a new thing. Uh -huh. Now it shall spring forth. <clears throat> now it shall come forth. Shall you not know it? Shall you not know it? I will even make I a way. I will even make a way where? In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Anybody ever see a trap word in the wilderness? No. No trap word there. God, I will do the thing that seems to be impossible. Right. Tell me what is it that what is in the wilderness? Nothing. It's nothing. Oh, it's a trees. Yes. So what's that? I will make a way in the wilderness, and then what I'm gonna do? Yes. Oh, let me read the word, because some time I want to check things you talk about over your head. Let them hear the word. I will make a way where? In the wilderness. In the wilderness, and what else? There's no river in the desolate place. And right now, your life seems to be so desolate and have a major trap. I have the Holy Ghost. So let the people know tonight that I'm God for you. I'm going to do it. 
do something in your life that seemed to be impossible, but seemed to be impossible with man. Go to hell is possible with me. God said, I will do what? Make a way by the water wet. I've been water wet. I've been water wet. Okay, so you understand that. Okay, he said, I will put life in the midst of your death. Right now, in the middle of the desert, everything is dead. Try. Right now, your life is so dry, your company is in that water. God said, everything in your life that's been affected, everything that's in your life that's been affected by the last major attack that hit your life, God said, I'll tell you, I'm going to bring life back to it because they thought you was going to die from it. Love, but if you want you to do it, just get out of here. I will not die now. I will not die now. I will not die. That he asked him, there, hey, where you stay? Where is yes. you come out for me? Where is your stay? You come to me with all the stay. I know. You should have come with me. You should have come there with your stay. I'm with your victory. Jesus. Because I want you to look beyond the problem and see that I'm 
harder. Why are you trying to figure it out? I already got it worked out. Because you're like, there's something that's happening behind the scene. And I hear the Lord say to tell the church tonight, but I got that everything you that God that was happening on the outside, I was trying to make you look bad. I was trying to make you look like you were defeated. See, they've been laughing at you. Don't, don't, don't mind them thing of them. They're trying to help you. They're trying to help you to tell people how much they didn't do for you. But God said, I will not allow you to be a laughing stock. But God said, I will send help from all the things. As a matter of fact, some of you are going to trip in somebody's car or jump on something tomorrow and take a driver out and pick up where you want to live. Tonight. You got to drive around because maybe this may not be your place, your, your desired place. But then go on the map and pick up what country you want to go in. But I hear the Lord tell you, the heavens are open and I'm going to put everything in place for you to show up. You're going to bring your desire. Is that bringing you into a desirable haven? I will bring you into a place. He said, at that time, I will undo all the afflicted here. And I will give you all my God beauty for ashes. I will give you beauty for your pain. All the pain that you've been through. Oh my God, that's why he said the suffering of this present time cannot be compared to the glory of God that wants to be released from the new life. So he opened your mouth and said, Glory that about to be released from the new life. After all, I've been through the glory is there. The glory is there. The glory is the Lord. 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 So you can know how to how to position yourself. And so you are all about in the wrong place, making the wrong movements, but you are still waiting on something that is not in the place that you move to. Wow. So the instructions come to tell you where to wait, how yes. to wait, how to move, when to move, how to carry yourself. So this is the instruction. Now watch it here. The Bible says, now watch it. I want to show you something that was written here. So what is the message here? It speaks about there are benefits when we are with God. Come away with us. So we have to now begin to separate ourselves from some things and some people. You don't have to be living with me for you to be separated from me. There are some ties that are still between us. Some of you need to just step on a faith that you know what? You ain't got to put in for I'm going to put in for the wall because I need to be free. I know the next time I'm coming from that thought, right? I'm trusting God with this one because that's what I, I cannot live my life being unhappy because you refuse to free me. So what's it here? It says, There are reward in what? Separation. One, the Lord will receive you. One, the Lord will receive you. When you separate, it means that. God said, if you can separate, then what I will do, I will take you as my full responsibility. You will become my full responsibility. But many of us, we want to hold on the thing. And when we find our times in our life, we want to run to God. But God said, I don't care, listen here, I don't care who opened their door. I don't care what favors rest upon you. They will only wait but for a season. God said, tell you totally commit to me. Face hard time for the rest of your days, right. and the enemy will keep setting you up, making you feel as if you're blessed and there's a curse over your life. Right. Some of us are living out too much of generational curses, so many of word curses of our life. And I hear the Lord that will tell you tonight that if you will totally commit everything to me, then I will totally commit everything that was promised to you. Right. One of the days of us benefiting from the, from the prophetic release. And yet we have not yet turned anything over back to God. Lord, you can't Lord. suck a God. Jesus, no. That's right. No, it's not going to work. So what it says. 
Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 41. And I want to bring this to your attention quickly. I want you to go there and find it. Find it what it says. We said, I will accept you. He said now in the book of Ezekiel, he said, then what I will do, I will accept you. With your sweet savor. With your sweet savor. So it means that God said, if you let go of all the stench of bondage. Mm-hmm. Because some people you've been around and you've been there for years. And look, look, at, look at where it left your life. You're still in, you're still in. I can't let nothing else. Huh? You hear a couple of nothing else? There's a perfect release in this world tonight. He said, when you can let go, then I, will, then I will receive you because you become as a sweet smelling savior. Yes. Uh-huh. When I bring you out from the peoples, I uh-huh. come and gather you out of the And when I bring you out from among the people, God said, I will bring you out from among the wicked crowd. Yes. Some of us, we will, God will never bring us out from, from among our wicked families. From a bunch of, among a bunch of wicked people. How many of you have been working a bunch of, around a bunch of wicked people? I know. God said, when you totally surrender to me, I am move them, I can leave them right there in their little hole. But I will take you out. Open us the door for us. He opens the door for us. So 
our fellowship with you. So, Pastor, he opens the door of what? Opportunities. Yes. Yes. I'm going to say the opportunities that you would never afford it before. God, I will open the door of opportunities for greater. But look at you, it means that I'm going to cost you to accomplish much more than you ever had before. You're gonna fight for the living. Ten by four, I fall out. God said, "What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cause you to bless some of that. Because yes, I'm calling you the winner." Yeah. When you trust in.